I'm just going to start by saying I absolutely hate Stoke and I cannot wait until they go down. <laughs> Seriously, yeah, they're what? fucking shite Seriously, them. Basically. They're what terrible. Shite. No terrible. They need, why weren't they going for the win? They needed to get a win today, surely. You know, their goalkeeper Butland taking the piss with about 88 minutes gone, waiting. T taking his time, you're sort of, you thinking, go for it, just go for it, like, and they're not even willing to do that. They're absolutely crap, and I can't wait. If I could pick three teams, obviously it's going to be to go down, it's going to be Everton, Man United and Chelsea, no doubt. But then, to get rid of them teams, I'm thinking Stoke, I'm thinking West Brom, then I'm probably thinking Palace. I hate Stoke, they're absolutely crap. And the fact that they can't even go out there when they need to win and try and win. There was a definite handball, it was a definite penalty to Liverpool. Uh, I sound like a right whinging cunt here, and do you know what, maybe I am, maybe I am. But when your team tries to win the game of football and there's dozens, it pisses you off. As a fan, you've got to look at it and think the referee's absolutely done us there. Absolute stonewall penalty towards the end. Genie Wijnaldum's losing his shit. Everybody is losing their shit at the end of that game because, you know what, that's a penalty. That's what it's got to be given. James Milner got given one against him the other night for but well well worse than that, you know what I mean? And, you know, Mo Salah, he needed to take that opportunity five minutes into the game. He's gone to think the keeper. Are you going to have a go at Mo Salah for that? Nah, are you, are you like, I mean, Mo Salah's been unbelievable this season. Um, I've got to say, I'm a little bit disappointed with Joe Gomez today. Uh, I thought his passing was really off. He looked like a guy who was playing without confidence. Um, Trent Alexander-Arnold at right wing-back, I didn't think was particularly good either, um, which is a bit mad. I thought that's, uh, like, that position would really suit him and stuff. I think, you know, as you, as you look around the team, there was far too many people who were playing within themselves tonight. I think Mo Salah was playing on the shoulder, but we didn't really get him involved in the game, as it were. Um, Roberto Firmino came deep second half, looked for the ball, looked to try and drive the team on and stuff, but there was not much around him. Danny Ings, I thought, was a little bit disappointing. I think you've got to look at it and say there's a load of people there with one eye on Wednesday. And you know what? Fair enough. Wednesday's a massive game. Uh, one point. Uh, from the four that we needed. Uh, hopefully Swansea do Chelsea tonight. That would be lovely in the half five kickoff, wouldn't it? Um, let's fingers crossed Swansea just do Chelsea. Then we can play the kids against them and then we can just sort of stick a finger up at them and go, do you know what? Use your crap. We're in the Champions League final. That would be ideal, wouldn't it? Uh, but it is all about Rome. It is all about Wednesday night. Uh, on to Rome. Hopefully we're going to be safe. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the Red Men TV on YouTube. And uh, hopefully the next time I speak to you, it will be uh, as finalists of the Champions League. Cheers.